Hi! So I just got the Tom Bin Shadow Guide 33. I uh, wanted to do some first impressions about the bag, what I think about it so far, and what I plan on using it for. Um, so right off the bat, I love, aesthetically, I love it. I love that it's a little messy looking. Um, I don't know. I appreciate that it's not so clean cut. Um, I love the huge, huge, huge pocket space in here. I think that's going to be awesome. I've heard some complaints about um, putting too much and the bag drooping over. I totally see that happening. I do love, though, um, because of the fabric and it's not so structured that you can kind of cinch these up to make it look smaller. Um, so it doesn't look like 33 ounces or 33 liters. Um, there's also some pockets underneath here on both sides. And then the space of the bag is just like a black hole. I mean, that that's the whole bag is just one big, one huge space. Um, so I'm going to take this bad boy on a family trip this weekend. Um, I'm packing for four, uh, gonna go to the zoo. I'll show you the lo uh, the loadout. I have some packing cubes that I plan on using for organization. I don't have a lot yet, um, so see how we go with that. It's only for a couple days, so it shouldn't be a lot. And honestly, I plan on using this bag uh, as like a beach bag, travel bag, if it's more than just myself. Um, but I, I'm excited to see how it holds up with everyone and the uh, hectic lifestyles of children. So I think it'll be good. And I will keep you guys posted on the comfortability of the bag, um, like just use, ease of access for things or lack thereof. Um, and if it suited our, our travel needs. So I will definitely keep you guys posted. weekend of use with this guy and um if you guys watched the earlier part of this the packing out I had to make some adjustments in order to fit everything and we still ended up taking a second bag on the trip to fit the rest of the stuff that we needed to I thought it would have been bigger again this is the biggest bag I've ever owned so I I guess I was thinking I could fit a lot more than I did than, I, than it actually could, um, but that's okay. Um, it fit all my packing cubes, essentially. Um, I was able to throw in some more in here, my tech pouch and stuff. Um, we took this to the beach, to the zoo. Uh, for the zoo, it worked out perfectly, honestly. We were able to throw in all our sweaters, 
two water bottles, um, snacks, snack packed cubes in there, uh, four sandwiches, a bunch of snacks for everyone. Um, and the cool thing about it is when it's not completely packed out, you can just cinch these bad boys up and then looks like it takes up less space, which is, I like that. Um, I wish it had an external water bottle pocket because having to undo these every single time is super annoying. And putting it on top of just, it was too much weight on the top. Um, but I did use it for all the small things we had, like hats and phones and stuff. And then the, um, the lanyard, what I did was I attached it to both, um, both O-rings right here. And it made like a little, a little line that I hooked our keys on and glasses and, um, my partner took off her rings and so we stored everything there. Um, it was, yeah, I mean, this was one of the most used features of it. I mean, it's kind of the only one. Um, we had our, uh, sunscreen, gum, chapstick, and then on this one was the, uh, our battery, external battery. Um, yeah. The back was extremely comfortable, I thought. Um, you were able to take out the frame sheet and mold it how you want. And so that helped out, especially carrying this around for like six hours at the zoo. Um, it did get sweaty. There wasn't a lot of breathability because the bag is entirely flat. Like there's no... Inside there's the little creases right here, but the fabric overall is completely on your back. There's no anything raised to give you some airflow. So it did get sweaty. The straps were super comfortable, I will admit. Um, taking this in and out of places wasn't the hardest thing. Again, the biggest complaint I have is, is the buckles. The buckles were just tedious. And so I plan on switching these out for um, some Fidlock sliders and I think that'll make it a little easier next trip. Um, I like that everything was secure. Um, the bag, I mean, the bag did a really great job in what I needed it for. Um, yeah, so, I mean, I would definitely take this again. I think this is a really good beach bag. Um, just throw your towels in, throw everything in packing cubes. You want to take a wet bag so you can change, um, throw your snacks. I think it's perfect for that. I think for four people on a, on a trip, and it was only a two day trip, but four people was, um, a little much. I think if it, next time if it's a, a two day trip and it's just the two of us, I think this would work perfectly with plenty of room to spare. Again, for a family of four, not the best situation for traveling. Um, again, we did end up needing another bigger, larger uh, weekend bag um, for like shoes and sandals and all the extra stuff that you know, that you need. Um, but overall, I, I, I really enjoyed the bag. Um, again, my biggest complaint is the snap buckles that was my biggest thing getting in and out of the bag was just it took a lot longer than I wanted it to take so and and the um the slouching of the bag that didn't bother me at all again I didn't put anything uh crazy heavy that would have pulled anything down um all the water bottles and everything was inside which again an external water bottle pocket would be perfect and there's no you can't lash anything on here. There's nothing to attach one if you wanted to. And so I wish they had even given you an option, for like some kind of webbing or something. Would have been nice. Um, these right here. So the strings of the bag, the cinch part are not, um, they're not covered by anything. And so packing things would get stuck. And that was kind of annoying. 
Um, but overall, like access of the bag, you just stop, take everything out, put everything in. It wasn't the worst. I just, again, I wish there was a quick access pocket for water bottles. Um, and I wish the buckles were magnetic. I think that would have been a lot smoother. But overall, I think it's a really good bag and I'm excited to use it going forward for the beach um, and two day travels or weekend travels for well, less for less people. I think that would, I think it, it would work out well for that. So uh, overall, good bag. Um, again, not the best for a family of four. So if you have anything larger than you and your partner or yourself, um, I would look elsewhere. But overall, it did the job fully packed out, and it also did the job when I wanted it to kind of look a little smaller. So, Shadow Guide 33.